Welcome to our Project Hack 16 submission. This is Team No Code Continuum. We tackle Challenge 4, Healthy Minds, Healthy Lives. Well, let's take a look at the team. We've got Team Captain George Godfrey, myself, Ben Bannon, Matteo Palo, David Johnson, and Elliot Atherley. Thanks so much, guys, for putting this wonderful solution together. Let's take a look at what it is. This is our elevator pitch. Well, our product is for business owners, HR personnel, perhaps even mental health charity organizations themselves, who currently have no no way of discerning which factors influence whether employees within their organization feel happy about the way mental health issues are dealt with. Our products are an interactive dashboard that highlights important mental health KPIs across all survey results and a predictive model to allow HR to benchmark their organization against the pool of responses. Now, unlike basic manual reporting in Excel or perhaps even the basic reporting currently available on the OSMI website, our product is rerunnable and therefore scalable to include next year's data set without any additional effort, as well as providing much deeper actionable insights that can lead to positive change. Let's take a look at our solution. So we provided with an Excel file that contained a variety of different sheets, one sheet per year that had all of the server responses. They're all a little bit messy, all a little bit muddled up, and the questions didn't quite align with one another. So we utilized a product called Alterx, which we love to be able to automatically input, cleanse, join, and transfer form all of that data so we're left with a cleansed and unified data set ready for analysis once that's been put together we put it up to data robot an automated machine learning bit of kit that determined the feature importance for the question that we wanted to answer overall how much importance does your employer place on mental health and we wanted to determine what were the 10 most influential survey questions to that particular response once we understood what they were we could create our predictive application again based in Dota Robot and once again once you had those feature importances brought them back into Ultrax and all the way through and then that then uh Got created our Power BI visuals. We identified which KPIs we're going to want to visualize in that Power BI dashboard. So, how do we cleanse the data? Well, let's say we got multiple duplicate questions. We had questions that didn't quite map up across the years. So, we had to unify them all across. This is how we did it here in Alteryx. And again, this is how our data robot model worked. Very briefly, this is the blueprint. You can see the variety of different steps taken to take that data set at the left-hand side and get our prediction all the way at the right-hand side. Now, here, take a look. Here's our question right at the top. Overall, how much importance does your employer place on mental health? That's what we want to predict. And this is what data robot told us was the 10 most influential survey responses to this response up here. And you look at this. If you place importance on physical health, you're very likely to place an importance on mental health, according to this prediction. <clears throat> Now, what we also did in Data Robot was created a predictive application. And what that means is, is you can fill out responses for those top 10 questions. And we're going to provide to you a prediction on what we think your organization places on uh, the importance of mental health, which is rather important. So we can fill out these questions here, and then we get the prediction result coming back to us. And again, that's going to allow people within businesses, perhaps business owners or HR representatives, to fill out those questions about their organization and start to get some indication on how their organization might value mental health based upon previous survey results. Now let's take a quick look at that application in action. Here's those questions that I've got here. I'm going to fill out my responses to those questions, click on the add, and it comes across to a prediction like this. I can see here's my prediction for my input here, 5.7% of uh, 5.7 out of 10, I'd much rather say. I can see here some important influences for that prediction result. Now if I head back to the presentation, we also put together a Power BI dashboard that actually represents certain demographics, other feature importances, and also some uh, yearly performance indicators that we've got here as well. Let's perhaps flick over to my other screen so we can take a look at this dashboard in action. We can track engagement uh, over time here down at the bottom so we can see for the different age groups how many responses have happened over time. We can see here's a big peak in 2016, up in 2021, not many responses it would seem. We can actually see here what was the perception of company importance of mental health over time. See it's gone down somewhat between 2017 to 18, coming up and remaining steady throughout 2021, looking good. 
demographics. Let's perhaps go to the next page. We've got a variety of different demographics, so we can see how many people from a variety of different genders, organizations, organization sizes, races, and so on and so forth are answering our surveys. Again, this is filterable by year, so perhaps I want to look at 21. I can see that represented here, or maybe if I want to see 2021 and 2019, we can have a multi-select going on there as well. Let's get to the next page. We can see a variety of other uh, KPIs that we've got here. And again, this is the question we answered. How much do we think our company places importance on mental health? And we can actually see here for a variety of different genders, organization sizes, races, and age. As it looks like here, I can determine that actually it's people within their 20s feel like the employers put uh, importance on mental health. Perhaps people in their 50s might not believe that as much, according to this analysis. Let's go to the next page. We can see a variety of other things here. We can see a very strong correlation, again, between the importance on physical health and the importance of mental health. So I can see that going across there. And feel free to pause the video if you want to have a look at some of these other visuals as well. Let's progress on to the next page. We can see here all of the questions that we determined to be important and then their importance to whether an employer placed their importance on mental health within an organization. And then finally, we've got here all of the different features. So perhaps if I want to say here, has my employer ever formally discussed uh, mental health with me? How much does that influence our target variable? And again, I can then track that survey response over the variety of different years that we've got here as well. All right, flicking back to the presentation briefly, let's go ahead and answer some of the judges' questions. So those are the two answer, uh, questions that the judges have posed to us. So our response to question one would be, well, the benefit of our approach allows us not only to identify individuals at risk, but identify the exact factors that lead to the result. Data robot that uh, will not only supply us the result, but also the reasoning for that result, uh, supported by full compliance documentation as well. The trend analysis visualized in the Power BI dashboard shows which factors are driving mental health scores, therefore highlighting factors for them to improve within the workplace. Now, our answer to question number two here would be, with rerunnable workflows from Alteryx, the process can be repeated in any workplace. All that is required is new data, and DataRobot builds entirely new models every single time. This ensures that any changes to the data, or perhaps questions, are going to be accounted for. Thanks so much for your time and attention. Have a great day.